In this video, we're going to solve these two problems using implicit differentiation. First, we compute for the derivative given this relation between x and y. And second, we find the equation of the tangent line to this curve at the point pi comma zero. Let's dive in. First, let's recall how to find derivative of y with respect to x by implicit differentiation. So we have this two-step procedure. First step, we differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to x, treating y as a function of x. So if y is a function of x, when you differentiate a power of y, then you bring down the power, you subtract 1 from the power, but don't forget to multiply by the derivative of y, which is the base, with respect to x. And second step, we solve y prime or dy over dx in the resulting equation from step 1. Let's now solve the two problems. So first step, we differentiate both sides with respect to x. So we have to compute for the derivative of the left-hand side, which is equal to e raised to x over y equal to the derivative of the right-hand side, which is x squared y minus 5. Now, what is the derivative of e raised to a function of x? So derivative of e raised to u is equal to e raised to u, your u is x over y, times the derivative of u, and our u is x over y with respect to x. And then this is equal to derivative of this one, but this is a product of functions of x. It's a product of x squared and y, which is a function of x. So we have to use product rule and we'll get, let's take derivative of one factor at a time. So take the derivative of x squared, we'll get here 2x times y, just copy the second factor y, and then plus, Copy the first factor, x squared, times the derivative of the second factor, which is y. So derivative of y is just equal to y prime. Let's use y prime for the derivative in this case. And what is the derivative of this constant 5 here? It is equal to 0. So this is just minus 0. So we only have this expression on the right-hand side. Now, we're not yet done in step one because we still have to compute for the derivative of this. And then again, since y is a function of x, this is a quotient of two functions of x. So we can use uh, quotient rule in this case, then our derivative is equal to e raised to x over y times denominator times the derivative of the numerator, so that is 1 minus numerator times the derivative of the denominator, which is y prime, and then all over the square of the denominator, which is equal to the right-hand side, 2xy plus uh, x squared y prime. Now we move to the second step, and our second step is to solve for y prime. So to solve for y prime, the first step is to multiply both sides by y squared to get rid of the denominator, y squared. And after multiplying y squared to both sides, we'll get here e raised to x over y, and then that is times y minus xy prime equal to, we have here 2xy cubed, and then plus x squared, y squared, and then y prime. Now we can write the left hand side as y e raised to x over y minus x e raised to x over y and then times y prime equal to this right hand side here. And next we isolate all the terms with y prime and we'll get here, let's isolate the y prime on the right hand side of the equation. So we'll get here y e raised to x over y and then minus 2xy cubed equal to x squared y squared y prime plus x e raised to x over y times y prime. And factoring the common factor y prime, we'll get here x squared y squared plus x e raised to x over y times y prime. 
Finally, to find y prime, we just have to divide both sides by this coefficient of y prime. So therefore, we get the derivative y prime, which is equal to y e raised to x over y minus 2xy cubed all over x squared y squared plus x e raised to x over y. So this is the derivative of y with respect to x. Next problem. So let's find the equation of the tangent line to this curve at this point here, pi comma zero. So the first step here is to find the derivative so that we can find the slope of the tangent line. And we need to uh, apply implicit differentiation to find the derivative of y with respect to x. So we're given here sine of uh, x plus y equal to y squared cosine x. So we take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. So derivative of sine of x plus y equal to the derivative with respect to x of y squared cosine x. Now, we're looking for the derivative of sine of a function of x. So that is derivative of sine u. So using derivative of sine u with respect to x, we'll get here cosine u times the derivative of u. And our u is uh, x plus y. Derivative of u with respect to x is equal to the derivative of this product here product of a function of x and another function of x. So we have to use product rule here. And applying product rule, we get derivative of y squared with respect to x is 2y times the derivative of y with respect to x times the second factor, which is equal to cosine x. And then plus, we copy the first factor times the derivative of the second factor, cosine x, which is equal to negative sine x. Now, what is the derivative of x plus y with respect to x? This is just equal to, so we have here cosine of x plus y, and then derivative of x is 1, and then plus derivative of y with respect to x. So this is equal to 2y cosine x dy over dx, and then minus y squared sine x. And then now we isolate all the terms with dy over dx. So we'll get here cosine of uh, x plus y times dy over dx. Okay, this is from this uh, product here. And then minus this one, so we move this to the left-hand side of the equation, so we'll get here minus 2y cosine x times dy over dx equal to, you have here negative y squared sine x, and then this product here, which is cosine of x plus y, if we move that to the right-hand side of the equation, that will give us minus cosine of x plus y. And now factoring uh, the dy over dx, we'll get here cosine of uh, x plus y minus uh, 2y cosine x times dy over dx equal to this uh, right-hand side of the equation. Therefore, the derivative of y with respect to x is just equal to the right-hand side, which is equal to negative y squared sine x minus cosine of x plus y all over the coefficient of dy over dx, which is equal to cosine of uh, x plus y, and then minus uh, 2y cosine x. If you don't want the negative signs in the numerator, so we can multiply the numerator and denominator by negative 1, and we can write our derivative as y squared sine x plus cosine of x plus y, and then all over, you have here 2y cosine x and then minus cosine of uh, x plus y. Let's now find the equation of the tangent line. So again, we first find the slope of the tangent line, which is just equal to the value of the derivative 
at xy equal to pi comma zero. So this is just equal to zero plus cosine of pi and then all over zero minus cosine of pi. So this will give us negative one over negative of negative one. So that is positive one. So this is equal to negative one. Therefore, the equation of the tangent line is using point slope form of a line. We have here y minus y1. So that is zero equal to slope, which is negative one times x minus x sub one, which is equal to pi which can be written as y equal to negative x plus pi. So this is the equation of the tangent line at the point pi comma zero.